Hey Virgo, it's Teresa with One Love One Night. Welcome to your message. So my intention is to get some insight on what is affecting your love energy, but we'll see what Spirit has in mind. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? And we have peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. So I'm getting that this is being brought to your attention because things have been a little chaotic, whether that's within yourself or outside of yourself, it it's interchangeable. So I feel like there's a need to look for inner peace um, that could be removing yourself from a situation, a job, a relationship, an environment. It'll be different for each of you. But it's also about finding peace with things, accepting things, acknowledging things that have happened in the past, forgiving things. That's where you're going to find this balance and peacefulness within. What else do we have for Virgo? And we have allow. May you soften into what is. So I feel like, yeah, it's allowing yourself to go with the flow and not feel like you need to... Um, have control in a situation, allowing things to happen as they will. And, um, and maybe this is just for a time, maybe you'll be more, um, you know, in a determined and, and, um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Maybe it'll be more determined later, but the point is that for now, in order to have peacefulness, you need to just learn to go with the flow, to float for a minute so that you can kind of um, reorganize on the inside. Okay, what else do we have for Virgo? And we have Muse. So I feel like this is kind of telling you that um, your peacefulness could come from doing some type of create creative um, hobby, doing something that expresses your soul. But I also feel like there may be someone, you know, a muse is someone that, that inspires you. And so I feel like, you know, there's definitely a need to um, like regain inspiration and, and passion, bringing passion back, bringing that flow back to your soul. All right, what is the recent past energy for Virgo? And we have the Seven of Swords, opposition. So yeah, I feel like there's been some major things going on here. This could be self-sabotage. This could be even, you know, um, others betraying you. Just chaotic energy that is blocking you and filling your head with things that are nothing but negative and that are getting in your way. And it's time to transform those thoughts, right? And bring peacefulness on the inside. So what is the current energy for Virgo? And we have the world. So ending a cycle successfully, this is, it says consummation. So summing things up and, you know, feeling like you're moving on to a new path and going with the flow I'm getting here. So there's definitely a chapter ending for you, but it's ending on a good note. This could be anything like you could be moving, you could be traveling somewhere distant. You could be, um, this could be a windfall of money. I just feel like there's something major ending and it's creating the path for a new beginning. What is the challenge here? And we have the tower crisis. So there's definitely something that went down or is going, going down or going to go down in the near future. And I feel like this is where your challenge comes in. This is like being able to sort through the rubble and, and, um, determine what happened here and how you can build, rebuild a new foundation, a more solid foundation. And I feel like spirit is saying, just go with it, allow things to fall, allow things to, um, settle where they may, and then 
you know, it's like for a time you need to, um, allow things to just be kind of in this state and go with the flow and see what, what's brought to you, what, um, what things the divine is, has in store for you. Show me the advice from spirit. And we have the princess of gems, the ingenu. So I feel like this is the page of pentacles. So I feel like there is going to be a new opportunity that you're going to feel has really has um, major potential for you to rebuild to um, it's like a new plan is what I'm getting here something that you really learned about yourself and you're able to um, plant this seed and expect great things. What's the outcome here? And we have the moon. So this is dealing with fear. This is dealing with illusions. This is dealing with pain on the inside. This is where you are needing, you know, to get past this like nightmare and move on from it. And then it's like, you know, the moon can also represent beautiful dreams and creativity and intuition. So I feel like your fears of um, certain outcomes have been, um, have disconnected you from your intuition. And I feel like that's where spirit is saying that you need to just allow things because then you're going to be inspired and be able to passionately move forward towards your dreams. The bottom of the deck is justice, truth. So I feel like things are all going to balance out in the end. The universe always balances things out. And if you look here, this is like the tower here. And I feel like, you know, it. this tower may fall, but you have something big and beautiful that you're going to be able to build and move towards afterwards. So it's about um, finding inspiration, allowing spirit to just bring towards you the divine path that will open up in front of you because when one door shuts another opens and that's so true show me the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here and we have the ace of swords breakthrough and awareness and we had that truth card there with justice so i feel like you're learning the truth and this is you know kind of ending things but it's also like tearing down your your walls in in so many ways so what is this world card about and we have the chariot so charging ahead i feel like this is you charging ahead on your new path and really allowing spirit to carry you show me the tower what is this tower and we have the six of pentacles, equality. So I feel like this is, you know, just, it's a way to balance things out. It's divine intervention. And it may seem like the worst thing ever, but it's going to ultimately bring you the karmic justice that you deserve, you that you desire, that you've earned. You've earned this good karma to come your way. All right, show me this page of pentacles. And we have the Nine of Swords, self-sabotage and nightmares. We discuss both of those with the Seven of Swords and the Moon. So I definitely feel like there's been a lot of anxiety. There's been self-sabotage without realizing why. And I feel like the Moon is really going to have you um, look at those things, those dark places within you that are fostering fear and um, discouragement and low self-worth. Show me the moon. And we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, re-evaluation. Re redefining what you are. Like valuing yourself. Um, putting a value on yourself. Like, um, And I feel like, look at this. It's like you're going to be able to put down strong roots again once you get through this other stuff that's causing weeds and other things to grow. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, so mind games and control. So I feel like this is, you know, um, the tower could be breaking down old programming, um, old beliefs, um, things that you feel 
now or later will you'll feel that we're a brainwash to you and that you're clearing that you're clearing that and starting your own program your own beliefs your own um, understanding of your value and your purpose in this world all right let's get some guidance here this is a lot a lot a lot it's a major time for you you have a lot of major arcana here all right what's the guidance what's the guidance for virgo okay and we have letting go learn to let go allow spirit to take you towards what's meant for you that's what i'm getting here let's get another one And we have choices, make the best choices. You know, I think that we do the best that we can, but it's about asking for guidance, praying, um, and allowing your intuition to guide you. That's what I'm getting here. So those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.